Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all important news and information on Path of Exile. And the first news this week is about what's going to happen in the next few weeks for Path of Exile. So during the, te- the two 10 days events that are going to happen, actually the first one's already started, there's going to be a little bit more prices and this is just for top ranked players. So number two to number five in each ascendancy will also receive a regular demigod's dominance while the number one in each category will actually receive an alternate art demigod's dominance so it's always nice to see a bit more prizes to incentivate uh, all those players who know they will not be number one but they can still get two to five so that's Nice from GGG. Also, during this week, Chris and Jonathan are in, going to be in California for the press tour for the next expansion, which is going to happen on the 8th of December. And sadly, they will not have time to hold a fun meetup this time, but I'm sure there's going to be more occasions later on. Also, on the 16th of November, on Thursday, there's going to be the big announcement, the big reveal for the next league and the next expansion so we'll have to see about that keep your eyes peeled for the big news also five facts about the next expansion so first one is there is a new boss in act 9 and act 9 i don't know it kind of feels like there's going to be like a huge t-rex kind of thing which i think it would be actually amazing also there's going to be the first ever suckable belt in counting and that can be like everything and anything and it's definitely going to be uh, decent or usable because it's the first and if GGG screws this one up uh, people will actually not like those in the future and I'm sure the first one is just the beginning of suckable stuff we already have rings we just need amulets now so green and black are the colors of a new league any kind of thing I don't know why they say it of a new league instead of saying of the new league. It kind of feels like it's not going to be the colors of the next upcoming league. But still, green and black are probably going to be the colors of the new league, which is going again to start on the 8th of December. Also, there's a new stash tab type for this expansion. I don't know about this. Probably means you'll like or you'll have to cash some stuff but I don't know we'll have to see how that goes doesn't really look that good also the last thing is that there are four new skill gems and six support gems incoming and this is actually a pretty big news four new skill gems are actually a lot for the type of expansion that it is and we also got a developer interview with Nathanel hopefully I pronounced that wrong which is one of the visual effect artists at GGG and well as usual for these interviews you have kind of general questions how they started how they got into grinding gear games what they do on a daily basis and then you can have some sneak peeks on how they work on their stuff like they start from the concept they do the texturing and there's there's an example over here i mean it's actually pretty interesting to read so if you are interested especially if you are interested into getting into this kind of business I think these interviews are actually pretty useful. If you are just interested in how the business works or how it works in general, definitely give it a read. Uh, It's actually pretty interesting. We also got uh, the reveal for the uniques that are coming in the next expansion that were teased the the previous week. So first one is Storm Charger, which are some griefs which are pretty good for shocking enemies, increasing shock duration and shock effect, also converting physical damage to lightning damage. However, uh, they grant pretty much no defense, so there's the trade. The same kind of works for the Wraith Lord, which is a pretty good minion helmet with the minion gems, with the minion regenerate 1% life per second and a flat 1000 life to specters. However, it grants no defense whatsoever, so you'll have to give something to gain something. That's pretty much how Path of Exile works most of the times. Giant's Bane, it's an Iron Grip, gloves, so you can wear it to level 23 and it works pretty well. Otherwise, you can actually 
uh, probably keep it to endgame if you are an Ivan Grip character. I don't know many of those, but I'm sure those exist. And then there's the Cane of Unraveling, which is uh, kind of the Tarin Shiver or Sivin Touch or Agnerod, however it's for Chaos damage, and it looks pretty strong. I mean, plus 2 level to Chaos Gems and 60, it's probably 60 to 80 or something like that percent damage. It's increased, of course, it's not more, I mean, it's already strong enough. And it also has bonuses if you go for power charges, so... A crit build is definitely going to be really good with this. And also if you don't use the crits, you can still use power charges to actually regenerate mana or increase your cast speed, so... Definitely a really good stuff if you want to go full offense instead of using a shield, which uh, is what most people actually do for the most part. But still, we also got a new map, which is kind of interesting. It's probably the first, it's actually the first place or area which contains some bridge gaps that you need to cross, so you will have to use a movement skill in there. And in fact, movement skills have a 200% increased cooldown recovery speed, so that you can actually jump around pretty fast and well monsters are kind of stronger than usual although not that much the experience gained is very much increased item rarity and quantity are pretty high as well so i believe this is going to be a pretty weird map maybe it's going to have uh, less monsters than usual it's a tier 7 so i wonder how it's going to be probably pretty good and pretty rare as well. They say we will know more in the next expansion, so we'll see about that. It's probably going to have some kind of things to do with the next expansion. Again, we'll have to see in the future. And last unique is the Vix Lunaris, which is a shield granting plus two level of socketed gems and triggering a level 20 Cold Aegis when equipped. And the Cold Aegis is a protective bubble which absorbs cold damage up to a certain amount, so that's pretty damn good. Also, you cannot be frozen while wearing this, so I can definitely see it pretty good, maybe for a CI character, which always had the problem of being frozen. So, yeah, definitely being useful. Someone will actually find it, find a way into their build. Maybe not as a beast, but maybe as a pretty good item to start with. Anyway, the 10 day turmoil event actually starts tomorrow, or rather it already started because the news is posted on the November 10, and uh, well, if you actually like racing or if you just don't know what to do, you've already done your, all of your challenges in the normal league, definitely try this one out. If you reach level 35, you will receive a Chaos and Order mystery box. The price can only be obtained once, but it's pretty good. Also, players can win multiple random dough prizes with one character, and you can also create more characters to have more chances to win stuff, so you can actually play as much as you want and uh, you will have more chances to actually win something. You can also delete your character before the race event ends, and you should probably get the rewards as well. And uh, yeah, I guess that was all for this week, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all, I've been your host Jordan, and I'll see you guys the next time.